Hello, this is Brenton from Huge Miniatures, and I'm going to demonstrate how to make a easy tree for tabletop gaming uh, using some of our supplies. So we sell these kits here um, that come with substructures, and then for the evergreen tree, we're using uh, a fertile static grass and then a mossy highlight. So the stuff that you'll need is uh, some spray adhesive. I find that Super 77 works really well. And then also um, a matte varnish so that you can uh, seal the tree uh, and apply the highlight at the end. So first thing is tape a, take a pair of scissors and just uh, randomly sort of like snip some bits, uh, make some chunks in here. Uh, and it just makes it look a little bit more natural. Uh, that way when you're covering it up with the static grass, it doesn't just look like a a cone shape. Just be really random about it. Then also go in and clean up some of the ones that are sort of hanging down at the bottom. And so that's it. Tree is prepped. Uh, next I uh, like to get a, a bowl to catch the flock uh, after I seal it with spray adhesive. Uh, and I like to use a sieve to just sprinkle it over top. It makes the whole process much easier. So I'm gonna go outside and I will give this tree a coating with spray adhesive and I'll come back and then flock it. Okay, so I just got back from spraying the tree. I uh, got a nice little medium coat on here. Um, you can see that it's kind of got some sort of like white to it, but it's not, uh, the glue isn't globbing up in clumps and that's what you're looking for. Then I'll just simply sieve it on, and uh, you'll see in a moment here why it's super helpful to do it over top of a bowl. And I'll just rotate the tree as I'm applying the static grass. Make sure to get the undersides and, and all those crevices. I'll just keep going around. Just make sure I've got a nice thorough layer and obviously most of this stuff is just going to shake off and fall into the bowl. You just recycle it for the next batch of trees. So once I've got it applied, I'll just tap the bottom a little bit, just a couple light taps. Just shake off any excess. So. That is a fully flocked tree. Basically, it's super easy. Uh, but next, we'll take it to the next level. I'm gonna let this dry for about 20 minutes or so. This glue actually sets rather quickly. And then I'll come back in with the matte finish and we'll apply some highlight. So, be back in about 20 minutes. So I've let this dry for about 20 minutes and I uh, just applied a coat of matte finish to it. Now we'll apply the highlight. Uh, I'm doing this from just a slightly more fine sieve, but you can sprinkle it on or use what you have. Then I like to go just straight down over the top and do this coat pretty lightly. Otherwise your whole tree will kind of change into the color of the highlight. Just light, lightly sprinkle it down over from the top until you're happy with the coverage. I think that looks pretty, pretty cool for a highlight. So just give it a slight tap and then I'll let that set and uh, well that's your finished tree there. Um, you obviously can uh, do these in steps so as you spray adhesive the first one, apply the static grass, let that dry, then move on to the following tree. By the time you come back uh, everything will be dry and you can move on to the highlights. So I will throw some photos of this up into the light box uh, so you can get a closer look. And uh, I hope that this was informative and uh, thank you. Take care.